suppliers, your question. Name the isotope whose nuclear fission supplies energy for atomic explosions. Oh, yes, of course, that's easy. The answer obviously is... That... Well, uh, the answer is... Time's up, sorry, Professor. Margie? I'm guessing that'd be uranium-235. Correct! Oh. For the third week in a row, you're our grand prize winner! Well, that's exactly right. How do you do it, Sam? I mean, when I try to memorize all that Zoic stuff, all I get is a headache. I don't know. I just read it, and then it's like stuck in my mind forever. Kind of dorky, huh? Dorky? More like lucky. Hey, maybe we can grab some sushi tomorrow after school, and you could give me a few pointers? Sure. Sounds great. Hurry up, Sam. You're going to be late for your date with fame and fortune. You're right. It's brain buster time. Um, actually, it's hair and makeup time. No girlfriend of mine's going on TV before she's camera ready. Today's the day Sammy gets to be on a game show and win mega bucks. Sorry, Zach. Gotta go. Is it me, or does the set look much bigger on TV? That's the magic of Hollywood, my dear. Weak Weatherdale! <laughs> Speaking of magic, I can't believe how real you look in person, Wink. Amazing, isn't it? But enough about me. <laughs> I'm here to welcome Sam to the show. Ready to challenge Margie for lots of cash and prizes? Bring it on. Oh, my idiot! You got me, bucko! <gasps> Winky, is this how the returning champ gets treated? This boss is 85% genuine self for crying out loud! We'll take care of it right away, Margie. <laughs> That's our cue, ladies. Good luck, hon. You're gonna need it. Uh, she seems nice. For 100 points, this famous person is the reason we have sandwiches. That would be. Uh, uh it would be. Margie? Uh, that's gotta be the Earl of Sandwich. The Earl of Sandwich is correct! <laughs> It's, uh, it's, it's... It's, um... Is it Ferno Equinox? Oh, correct, Alundo, again! Is it Shredded Weight? Fest. I believe we're due for our mid-morning makeup check. Uh, um, is it me or is she a little off course? Off course? She's off her rocker. Come on, we've got to stop her. Hey, what are you doing? How about saving you from total humiliation? This is the boys' bathroom. <laughs> Oopsie, guess I wasn't paying attention. Ah, uh, forget the makeup check. Let's just get our books and go to class. Did you forget your combination? Forget 
my combination? That is like the dumbest question ever, Clovis. Clovis? Uh, Sam, her name is Clover. That's what I said, Allegra. Um, okay, I was just kidding about the brain sucking thing before. <gasps> Sammy, are you feeling okay? I am fine. Gosh, if I could just figure out why there's no smoothie stand at this mall. Okay, this just went from amusing to 911 called Jerry Quick. Serious? <laughs> seems to be the problem. Sam's the problem? Ever since she was on that Brain Buster show, she's been acting Trey Bizarro? Yeah, forgetting things and spacing out and stuff. She practically walked into the boys' bathroom at school. But Clovis and Allegra saved me. Uh -huh. Yes, I'll have Whoop run some tests right away. In the meantime, you two should check out Brain Drain's ex-contestants. See if anyone else is having forgetfulness problems like Sam. We're on it, Jer. Not just yet. There's still the matter of the gadgets. Today we have X-ray sunglasses, lipstick lasers, mini smoke bombs, and some newly modified nuclear-powered jet boots. What's newly modified about them? Glad you asked. This. This is it. The home of Professor Augustus Claiborne. Says here he hasn't returned to work since he lost on the game show two weeks ago. That's a long time to just sit around and play with your parting gifts. Can I help you? Yeah, we're here to see the professor. We're, um, we're his students. <laughs> well, then you should know that the professor isn't feeling well. It'll only take a sec. We just want to say hi. Well, all right, if it'll only take a second. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the prop had a little problem dressing this morning. It's every morning. Ever since he went on that ridiculous show, he can't remember anything. Uh -uh. Oh, hello, ladies. I'd love to chat, but it's a bit past my bedtime. Nighty night. I think you guys should go now. I appreciate you stopping by. Okay, this is so not good. For the professor or for Sam? For both. We better call Jared. ASAP. Brainwave test number one. Short-term memory visuals. Any news, Spies? We just checked on an ex-Brain Buster contestant. In two weeks, he's gone from brainy professor to brainless goof. He tried to go to bed inside a clock. Oh, my. How's Sam doing? Sam? Oh, well, she's... <gasps> oh, my. Jared, what's wrong? Uh, well, nothing to worry yourself about. But you and Alex should investigate the game show set promptly. Uh, Ta-ta. Order. You seem kind of hungry. And this is the famous Brain Buster set where everybody's favorite waitress, Margie, goes for $10 million in tomorrow's Battle of Geniuses. Wow. Now, follow me to the studio's famous Cowboy Western set. Wow. Okay, 10 minutes to the next door. Let's get to work. We should start with Wink's podium. Looks like this podium is more than just a place for Wink's cue cards. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play 
Brain Busters. Okay, that's weird. What's weird? Pictures of brains? I don't get it. Red trains into blue. Alex, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <gasps> that somehow those capsules suck out intelligence? Exactly. Our Sammy's been bean trained. I knew a guy with teeth that white wasn't to be trusted. Hey, you! Uh, hey, what do you two think you're doing? <gasps> Looks like the next tour came early. What are we gonna do? Hey, let's go, buddy! Yeah, let's go, buddy. The lady doesn't know you. Oh, uh, no, no, no. You misunderstand. I'm Sam's uncle. Uncle, uh, buddy. Yes, that's it. Sam called me to pick her up. Ready to go, dear? Oh, oh my. I had so hoped it wouldn't come to this. Look, huh? a three-headed man on a donkey! <laughs> <laughs> is not something you can buy in a store, is it? Excuse me, but sucking out innocent people's brains is like majorly evil. Well, evil, sure. But Winky and I realized you got to bend a few rules to become rich and famous. And powerful. After tonight's Battle of the Geniuses, Margie's brain power will be that of a thousand supercomputers. We will be unstoppable. First, rulers of all television. Then, rulers of the world. Plus, we get 10 million smackaroonies. That's right, sweet stuff. Ew! <laughs> Ew, gross. Like we aren't being tortured enough already. Ooh, the show beckons. Unfortunately, there's not enough oxygen for you to make it until the first commercial. Bye-bye, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Divide and conquer round, geniuses. 
I give you the division problem, you give me the answer to conquer your opponents. And here we go. What number equals the year the spirally grooved rifle barrel was introduced divided by 10 to the negative fifth? Sam and Margie switching capsules. Margie will be the brain red contestant this time. day at the sushi bar. Oh, hey, forget it. It's history. Besides, I found another tutor. Another tutor? That's right, Sammy Kins. Zach needs a study buddy with half a brain. Someone who knows the difference. 
difference between a hand towel and a hand roll. <laughs> bye bye Half a brain is right. Mandy's about as sharp as a week old nail file. It's okay, she can have huh? it. I mean, really, who wants to go out with a guy who would fall for Jerry's lame, look, a three-headed man on a donkey trick? I heard that, ladies. <laughs> <laughs>